we're going to stream the Rico Theta V 4K 360 degree video into HTC Vive headset with Unity. Start Unity and create a new project. Make sure you have 3D selected. We will soon need to add an asset package for Steam VR. Click on Add Asset Package. If you do not have Steam VR plugin on your system, you can download it for free from the Steam VR site. Once Unity starts, delete the main camera. Save your new scene into your assets folder. I like to save my scenes into a folder called Scenes. This is optional, but it makes organization easier. After you save your scene, we're going to look at the Assets folder and look at the Steam VR folder. Within the Steam VR folder, you will see the prefabs. In the prefabs folder of Steam VR, select the camera rig and Steam VR and drop it into your project. You'll now need to insert a sphere into your Unity scene. I'm using a flip normal sphere that I created in Blender. You can download the sphere I used for this tutorial from the GitHub site. It will be in the link below. Download the sphere and drag and drop it into your Unity project. After you download the sphere in your browser, go to the folder where it was downloaded. Simply select on the icon for the Blender sphere and drag it into the Assets folder of your project. As this is a small project, I'm simply going to drop it directly into the Assets folder. Add the sphere to your project hierarchy. With the sphere selected, go to the inspector panel. We're going to set the scale to negative value. Note that it is negative eight, negative eight, negative eight. I am setting negative values to compensate for a mirroring effect. Zero out the rest of the settings for the sphere. The rotation on the x-axis should be zero. Y should be zero. Z should be zero. I'm rotating the x-axis of the camera rig 180 degrees. 
the position of the camera should be zero, zero, zero. I'm going to delete the Y, the one value and the negative 10 value for the Z axis later in the video. Assets folder, create a new folder called scripts. We're going to drop a C sharp script into that folder. The sample C sharp script is also available on GitHub. I put a direct link to the specific script in the link below. The script is called webcamdetect.cs. Do not change the name. If you do, you'll need to also change the script. If you don't want to download the script, you can also just copy and paste it directly from the GitHub link into a new file that you create in your assets folder. Go to create C sharp script, change the file name to webcam detect. Look for the camel case example in the video. You'll now need to edit the C sharp script. Depending on your configuration, you may have it open Visual Studio or another editor. Visual Studio offers a nice environment for working with Unity, although the mono editor is also, can also be used. Delete the entire default script and paste in the new script from GitHub. The new script completely replaces the old script. If you want to enable audio from the Theta V as the audio source, you'll probably need to edit the script, the array for the um, audio device. When you're ready, save the script. Go back to Unity. Attach the script to the inside sphere. You can grab the icon of the script and drop it into the inspector panel. The script will now be attached to the sphere. In the video, my, the position of the camera rig is still incorrect. I'll correct it um, after the video, after the app. Press play. The theta will now stream on into the sphere. Adjust the camera rig position to zero, zero, zero. If Steam VR has not already started, it will now start. For this demo, I'm not using the hand controllers. I'm using a mirroring application. The graphics are a little glitchy. It's due to the screencast uh, software that I'm using to record this video. Test it out. The source code is out there. If you build a cool app, let us know.